the worst people to deal with are the athletes. None of them use condoms, really. So if y'all really want to try to come up off a check off a man, I mean, you could just f*** an athlete. They're really dumb. <laughs> okay, so, you know, you're figuring out your career. Your Instagram following is, is going up. And, you know, you start dating. And you mentioned that you dated 11 athletes through the course of your life. That may have been an Probably old Probably more than that. Okay. I mean, I, I've, said, I've said publicly that I've had sex with 30 guys. Um, I do have a yeah. list in my phone. I could look at the list and tell you how many athletes. But um, as of right now, I don't know that number off the top of my head. I think I said I said eight NBA players, though, I think was the number. Okay. Yeah. Well, you made a, a video at one point. Uh, you were in the back of your car. It was my body count said, video, right? I'm sorry? Was it the body count video or which one? Okay, I'll let you finish. I, I, I'm not sure which video it was, but you specifically said, and I quote, Athletes don't use condoms. If you want to come up off a check off a man, you could just fuck an athlete because they're really, really dumb. Really, really dumb. A few moments later. I know I need to do this video. I don't want to. Seems like I Forgiveness has been a really big theme in my life. I'm gonna get through this video, but never understood when people said you forgive for you there are a lot of people that i never even began to remotely forgive in my heart like breaking to britney in private still holding on to resentment what was so hard about forgiveness for me was it seems like everybody just moves on with their life and then here you are emotionally you felt like you just did two tours in afghanistan arm blown off forever changed by the events that happened to you. There's an acceptance part too where there are some apologies you'll just never get. 